Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. So Virgo, the messages that I put forth, they are timeless. Whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages can resonate the most. They're also general, so not everything will apply. Just take what does and leave the rest. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, as well as Jupiter. So make sure to check your other placements. I've already completed fire and water signs. So let's tap in Virgo and see what the energy is. Spirit, give me some messages for Virgo. What's the energy? I'm hearing the gospel song soon and very soon. We are going to see the king. So if anybody um, has lost a loved one, definitely my condolences. Somebody could be in fear of this. Give me some energy for Virgo. What's the message spirit? Messages for Virgo. What is the energy? What would you like for Virgo to know at this time? Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. So for some of you, you could have Leo and or Capricorn. Highly aspected. Let's tap in. Spirit, tell me why is don't let pride get in your way why is this here for virgo what's the energy <clears throat> why is don't let pride get in, get in your way i'm the way i just cleared my throat and then i heard the song let me clear my throat it's an old song i forgot who sings it but for some of you something could be going on with your throat chakra um i'm hearing like alignment so you may need to um do some throat chakra energy work I want to say attunement give me some messages for don't let pride get in your way For some of you too, spirit is like saying you need to cleanse. I have death, scorpionic energy. Tell me more about don't let pride get in your way. Why is this here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is don't let pride get in your way here for Virgo? What is the message spirit? The nine of wands. Somebody could be resisting some type of change. I feel like also somebody's trying to force something to change. Give me an energy for death. Why is this here for Virgo? What's the energy? Three of wands. I feel like somebody's proclaiming a change. Um, somebody is forcing a situation to change. Somebody's ready to start over. But another person does not like this. Give me an energy for death. Why is this here for Virgo? What's the energy? Messages for Virgo, the Eight of Wands. Yeah, something is drastic. Um, something also is like happening within a moment's notice. Somebody could also be receiving some type of notice, letter in the mail. Give me an energy for the Three of Wands. Something has to do with um, moving, relocating. Somebody could be facing an eviction. Give me an energy for the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here? Yeah, a letter. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. So it's time for someone to move. It's time. Give me an energy for the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here for Virgo? The Page of Swords. For some of you, you're being washed. Like your home could be getting washed. Be mindful. I'm hearing like stake out. Like, yeah, somebody's watching. Like for some of you, somebody's trying to watch your movements. They want to know your whereabouts. Somebody could be tracking you, Virgo. For some of you, something has to do with your vehicle. Somebody also could be watching you a lot online. Give me an energy for temperance. The Ace of Swords. So it's time for you to know the truth. 
It's time for you to know a truth about a situation, Virgo. For some of you, this is you finding out the truth as to why somebody walked away or turned their back on you, why your situation ended. But I feel like for some of you, like whatever ended, it ended abruptly. Why is the Page of Swords here for Virgo? What's the energy? I'm hearing in the truth she'll set you free. So for some of you, um, this is a situation that you um, could not really move on from. You couldn't fully get over because it was a lot you didn't know. The Hierophant, Taurus, Energy. For some of you, I feel like there's somebody that wants um, some type of partnership, some type of union with you. For some of you, this is a relationship. For others of you, this is career related. This person could be a Taurus or have it highly aspected. Why is the Page of Swords here for Virgo? Something also has to do with your online presence. Seven of Pentacles. Um, it's like somebody's going to watch you receive some type of offer opportunity. But it's giving me like a why me? Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I got that energy for Taurus reading. So you definitely may want to go look at that. But somebody wants to be chosen and, and it's not going to happen. The Emperor, yeah, for either some type of opportunity, career-wise, or a relationship. Aries energy on the Emperor. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Definitely be expecting some type of communication. I'm hearing like in the mail soon. Tell me more about this Emperor. Why is the Emperor here, for Virgo? What's the energy? The Fool, yeah. I feel like this is you and this full energy. I feel like something is going to make you so elated, so happy. But I feel like whoever's in this Seven of Pentacles energy is going to be jealous of you. Like, why is Virgo chosen? Why is the wind going to Virgo? Give me an energy for the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is the Eight of Wands here for Virgo? I have the Ten of Wands. You know what? Somebody try to keep you restricted. If you do something online, like somebody try to keep like your messages, your content restricted so that it couldn't be viewed. And for some of you, it was due to some type of opportunity that they didn't want you to have. They didn't want you to receive. Now, for others of you, this is just somebody not wanting your work to be seen. They want you to be hidden. They don't want to give you your flowers, you know, when it comes to the job, the office setting. Um, two of Cups. Yeah, it's like something deals with a person trying to hold you back from a partnership. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Virgo? What's the energy? Ten of Cups. Yeah, it's like for some of you, something has to do with a group of people. Family, friends, people that you, you trust, you love. But somebody really did not want to see you in this Two of Cups, Ten of Cups energy. The number 10 could be significant. You could be seeing um, 10, 10 quite often. I'm also getting like warning signs. So make sure that you pay attention to um, the signs, the synchronicities that you receive. Spirit is like in the next 10 days, 7 to 10 days. I feel like Spirit is going to be communicating with you a lot, Virgo, very heavily. Because there is something that's meant to come together. There is a divine opportunity here, but somebody's trying to sabotage it. I'm hearing like something deals with your record, record keeping. Somebody like has you monitored, but it's only to report. To report on you. To get information on you that, that could go against you, sabotage you. Something deals with the record here. Somebody's keeping account of the things that they are finding out. Or for some of you even hearing. Give me an energy for the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here for Virgo? What's the energy? Elise. Elise. That name is significant for someone. Give me an energy for the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here for Virgo? What's the message? The Five of Pentacles. Yeah, like somebody wants you to be abandoned. Left that in the cold. Six of Pentacles to struggle. Not for some of you. <laughs> Whoever this person is. They want you in the Five of Pentacles, right? 
They want you to be in like this destitute, um, hardship energy. So they can come in and save the day. Six of Pentacles. So it's like, oh, look, Virgo, you know, you were so down and out. And look what I came and did. I came and saved you from obscurity. But they're the one that created the situation for you to begin with. Be mindful of who you accept assistance from. Again, I'm hearing jealousy. This is somebody that is jealous. I've been getting that heavily in Earth Signs reading. Capricorn and Taurus. Give me an energy for the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Give me something for the Fool. Because that's standing out to me. Why is the Fool here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is the Fool here for Virgo? What is the message? Why is the Fool here? Messages for Virgo. The Four of Cups. Somebody don't want you to take this leap. Somebody don't want you to operate from faith. They don't want you to trust the process. They don't want you to have this new beginning. They don't want you to be carefree and happy. They don't want to see it. This is somebody that just wants to control you. Control what's coming in for you. Control your life, your destiny for some of you. Give me an energy for the nine of wands. And again, for some of you, something has to do with a group of people that wants to be in control. Give me an energy for the nine of wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here for Virgo? Very intuitive. Use your intuition. Justice. Libra Energy. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here for Virgo? What's the energy? I can't listen. <laughs> the High Priestess came out, Virgo. Pisces Energy. You are very intuitive. I feel like you already know who to protect yourself from. Your guard is up. You are standing guard. You already know. You, you sense it. You sense something is off. Give me an energy for justice. Or you will. Why is justice here for Virgo? Yeah, it's like somebody want to be your savior. But they're the one that created the mess to begin with. Give me an energy for justice. Why is justice here for Virgo? What's the energy? I have the three of pentacles and the eight of so yeah, this is a people that you work with, some type of collaboration. They want you stuck. Confirmation. They want you stuck. They want you in the eight of swords. They want you to they want it. Whatever the situation is for you, Virgo, they want you to be unable to get out of it without them, without their assistance. Just to say, look at what I did. I rescued Virgo. Like they want you to owe them. They want to be able to hold something over your head. Give me an energy for the eight of, for the three of pentacles. Why is the three of pentacles here for Virgo? What's the energy? And for some of you too, this is family. A collective of people that you that you work with, that you know, Knight of Swords, yeah. It's like they want to rush in to save the day. For some of you, that's what already happened. And they want to bind you to that, to what they did for you. Like, oh, look at what I did for you. Oh, you're walking away. You're getting this full energy. Remember what I did for you. Are you going to leave me behind? Remember what I did for you. Give me an energy for the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Virgo? What's the energy? I rescued you. Five of Wands. This is somebody that wants you to be stuck in constant drama, conflict, and turmoil. For some of you too, this is somebody that may like to lash out at you as well. But they want your life to be conflicted. Why is the High Priestess here? For Virgo, what's the energy? Why is the High Priestess here for Virgo? What's the message spirit? The Queen of Cups, but you're very spiritual. Very intuitive, extremely. You're very tapped in. You're very balanced emotionally like you know. You just know. You know what's for you and what's not. So it's like whoever's trying to put you in a trap, they gonna end up falling in that trap. Go watch Taurus reading. I said that in Taurus reading towards the end. Give me an energy for the Five of Wands. And Taurus did come out. 
Why is the Five of Wands here? For Virgo, what's the energy? Like, you know better. Like, you always remain 10 steps ahead of this person or these people because of your intuition, because of your spiritual gifts, your knowledge of people. You definitely read energy very well. Why is the Five of Wands here for Virgo? What's the energy? Why is the Five of Wands here for Virgo? The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, somebody wants to compete with you for a commitment, a relationship. And for some of you, it has to do with your abundance, like your luck. Like, somebody just feels like you're very lucky, like all the time. Everything is always working out for you. Like, why Virgo? But you're chosen. You're very gifted. Anointed. Very balanced. A go-getter. You know how to work from the ground up. Like, you know how to build without having much to build with. Give me an energy for don't let pride get in your way. Why is this here? Yeah, it's like somebody feels like, you know, why? Like you don't deserve something because of who you are. Now, for some of you too, looking at this Queen of Pentacles, something could have to do with um, race as well. Prejudice. For some of you, because you are um, a feminine but it has to do with somebody else's like belief system pertaining to you. Give me an energy for don't let pride get in your way. Why is this here for Virgo? What's the message? Why is don't let pride get in your way here for Virgo? The four of wands. Yeah, it's like people feel like you don't deserve to be happy, but... I'm telling you, something has to do with somebody's own belief system about you, like the way you look, your skin color, like um, who you are, like you don't deserve it. But it's this person's mentality, their mindset, like how they were brought up, how they were raised to feel about um, certain people. For some of you, something has to do like, I'm um, hearing like of a certain caliber. So something has to do with um, where you are in terms of finances. Like this is somebody that feels like, well, you know, if you don't make a certain amount, then you really aren't important. Like, why should you be happy? Why should you be blessed? Like somebody has a very narrow mindset. Give me an energy for your hard work is paying off. Why is this here for Virgo? Why is your hard work is paying off here for Virgo? The Ten of Swords, everything is fine. Yeah, it's like you've overcome a lot though. You've been through the struggle. You've been through things that this person probably has never even experienced or thought of in their life. And that's why you are blessed. And you will continue to be blessed. I also have the Nine of Cups. And you love yourself. And despite everything that you have been through, like you're satisfied with life. Like you're still happy. Um, you still rejoice. You're still grateful. Regardless of your experiences, you know how to be um, thankful for as well as things are. And that's something this person doesn't understand because this person hasn't been through the things that you've been through. Like your hard work is paying off. You really have put in a lot of time and effort into self, into building your life. And it's like, why shouldn't you be rewarded? You've done the work. Well, I'm telling you, like your accomplishment stresses somebody out, but it's, it's like their own demons, things that they have to work on. Whether or not they choose to, that's their decision. But yeah, this person is being blocked. It's being blocked out of your energy, blocked from trying to sabotage your destiny. It's like stay away from Virgo, like go and sulk in the corner, but stay away from Virgo. Give me some final energy for Virgo. What's the message? Give me some final energy for Virgo. What is the message spirit? I have the Six of Cups. Something is being granted to you, like, from your childhood. Like, you 
You were always meant to receive this. You have been anointed since you were a child. You were being spiritually guided since you were a child. Like you're meant to have this. And whatever you are getting ready to step into, like you're right on time. You're not too early. You're not too late. Like you're right where you're supposed to be. Virgo, the number 666 could be significant. The sun at the bottom of the deck, Leo energy. Like you're stepping into one of the most happiest seasons of your life. One of the most proper prosperous seasons of your life, Virgo. This is for you. Like, wow. Ten of Pentacles behind that. The world behind that. The Eight of Cups. The Ace of Cups. Come on. Come on. A lot of emotional fulfillment. Financial prosperity. Like, you're just going to be blessed. I'm hearing the song every time i turn around i see blessings blessings on blessings like that's going to be your life blessings on top of blessings because you've endured a lot this is god just rewarding you for staying the course and not giving up not giving in you know not getting in this defeated energy and if you ever did you were able to pick yourself out pick yourself up out of that energy hmm Again, Spirit is saying this is timeless. This is a timeless reading. Give me some final messages for Virgo. What's the energy? Give me some final messages for Virgo. Yeah, lessons to learn. Like you've learned a lot of lessons. This person still has um, lessons that they need to learn though. They still have a lot to learn about life in general, about people. Give me some final messages for Virgo. It's not their way. It's God's way. Begin again. Today is a fresh start. Your path is clear to begin where you are. You're not afraid to start over. You've had to start over many, many times. And you did so. Whether you had a smile on your face, you were crying, you felt defeated, you still started over. You were capable of taking this leap because you trusted the process. And I'm hearing the song, Trouble Don't Last Always. Yeah, you know, trouble don't last always. Yeah, you pick yourself back up, you dust yourself off, and you keep moving. Every day is a new beginning. Every day grants the opportunity to get it right. That's the way you view life. And that's why you're winning. That's why you're successful. That's why you're chosen. Bottom of the deck, self-love, self-discipline. Keep your word to yourself. Fall in love with how you feel when you are taking care of you. Yeah, it's that self-love, nine of cups. You know how to pour into yourself. You know how to fill your own cup. You don't um, give people the power to control how you feel about you, your happiness. You know, it's a self-job. And as long as you continue filling your own cup, making yourself a priority, you are going to keep winning. Spirit is saying you are up for a win. Spirit says the win. But this is your reading, Virgo. Spirit is saying take your time. There's no need to rush. You're right on time. Spirit wanted to reiterate that for someone. But stay true to thyself, real with thyself, grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.